Strong opinions. Angry thoughts. Loud voices. West has no idea what this video I is. I have no idea what we're doing. Welcome to Quack and Go, the board game channel where every video is... 10 minutes or less or your money back. Guaranteed. That's our stance. We stick to it. Unless YouTube screws us by adding that one extra second on a literal 10 minute video. So unfair. Not paying you back for that because you didn't watch the extra second. I promise you. Yeah. Wes Todd. Yes. This is a video just called We're Arguing, Fighting, Debating. On what? What? What is our debate topic? We no topic yet. We're no starting, topic. We're just... I want us to list off odd or extreme board game opinions we have, and see if the other person agrees or if we want to fight about it. Terraforming Mars is the longest, most boring game you can play. That's just an opinion. Very early on, uh, I think you're wrong. I originally would have been like, yeah, the art's ugly as well. So wait, tell me that I'm wrong. Yeah. You you will not play Terraforming Mars without the expansion and the thing that makes it shorter. That's a very strong argument. I will not play Terraforming Mars without the expansion that gives you the starting resources and the drafting mechanic, which doesn't necessarily make it shorter, but does give you more control over... But the other mechanism <coughs> is the one that like starts you farther ahead, so it makes the game shorter. It does, it does. So therefore, you won't play Terraforming <sighs> Mars in its original format, the yeah. way that it was designed by the designers, because it is too long and is boring. And I'm right! Congratulations! Next. Well, that's, uh, that's an opinion. You don't need to own any dexterity games except for Crokinole. Oh, you can't say that. Dodo's Riding Dinos. It's a great game. It has dexterity elements. Is it a dexterity game only? I'm just saying. You need nothing but Crokinole. I love Crokinole. I have two Crokinole boards. A five hole and West, a normal board. Ask yourself a question. I will. Would you rather play, insert any dexterity game, or Crokinole? That is so unfair, but I would totally play Crokinole. Right? 100%. If you don't own a Crokinole board, you haven't spent the right amount of money to buy one because it is amazing, and you will never regret that purchase price. It has absolutely convinced me to consider getting rid of dexterity games that I genuinely love mm -hmm. because... It's so good. Crokinole? It's so good. I still do and some own some dexterity games. And I am horrible at Crokinole, but I still <coughs> love it. I it actually introduced really it to bad. my friends, and they really liked it. And I was actually better than normal. Yeah. And I've been practicing a lot. You should we should probably play because I've been I've been practicing a lot and I'm slightly better than I was before. Which is really low bar. It's extreme like it's under the table hmm. bar, but it's still it's still quite good. Other unpopular opinions. I, go ahead. If you got another one on top of your head, go for it. Pokemon the card game is more fun than Magic the Gathering. But because of the age where people get into the card game, not as many people know it. Oh, everybody knows the Pokemon card game. No, not ha to play it. To actually play it. But I would say that as many people who play Magic the Gathering, there's probably more people that play Pokemon. I think people fall in love with Pokemon in their young adult to tweens. Yeah. And people fall in love with Magic in their middle teens to mid middle age. If you go to a place and you watch a Magic the Gathering tournament, there is nobody there under the age of... That's what I'm saying. 18. No, but when they discovered it. When they discovered it. Because I think people find Pokemon as young kids... And yeah. they find magic as the next stage. And they're still but no playing one, Pokemon. They're not, though. They are. I grew up as a collector and a video game player and mm -hmm. all these other things and didn't learn the card game until I made a point of learning it later on. And it's a really good card game. It is a really good card game. I will tell you that magic is mostly people that are in their late... Yeah. Early to late 30s. I think that's the problem. I think Pokemon has an age group that falls in love with it during a time period where they don't really have the mental capacity to learn the card game. No, that has but I absolutely think it's stronger, nothing to do with it. I think it. it's a stronger card game than Magic. I think it is a stronger card game than Magic. Do I, you? I think the reason that Magic Shocking. has older people involved with it is because they have more money. And they're able to buy the better decks. Maybe. And they're able to actually compete because they have more money. Maybe. Tell me I'm wrong. I, I, I mean, I, I, I agree that Magic has an older fan base. Because they have money. 
and they're able to buy the better cards. Maybe. I, I just think Pokemon attracts a younger fan base, and I think that does a disservice to how good the card game is. I'll agree with you. Opinions? I agree with you. Any opinions? I agree with you on that. I think it's that's probably I mean, other correct. opinions. Oh, yes. Um, how about... There are... Mm, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one. Oh. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this oh. one. I feel like this is this is not going to go over well. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't say it. Yeah. But I'm going to say it. The best Marvel game is Marvel United. Oh! I'm trying to get high pick. I can't get that high pick. Because there's a lot of Marvel Champion the friends out there that are going to be Marvel really game. upset at me. Man, I don't know. Marvel Champions is my bay. What's up with Marvel United? Why are you why are you sweet on Marvel United? Is it Marvel, the meme? I mean, Marvel United is has, the, community has meme? the best meme. I, uh, so here's what I'll say about Marvel United. Okay. There are a ton of fan-based Marvel United cards. Mm. The community for Marvel United is significantly bigger than the community for Marvel Champions, you I believe. A hundred percent. Because there are a ton of fan-based cards that are complete fan art, complete concepts that are brought out that I think are absolutely amazing. Mm. And I'll, I also will say that Marvel United plays faster and it is more interesting during that concept. I do believe that Marvel Champions has a very unique concept where you actually get to play as that person and you feel like you're that person, but I think Marvel United is a better concept of a game overall. If, it depends on the player count. If you're playing cooperatively, I'll take United any day. Mm -hmm. If you're playing solo though, I'm walking home with Marvel Champions. I just am. And honestly, if you're playing a year from now, I'm talking Marvel Zombies. I'm having a conversation about it. Marvel Zombies isn't out yet. Yeah, I know. So it doesn't it's count. It's out for me. It doesn't count. You don't have it. You see my Galactus downstairs? I see your Galactus. I've got something. But you don't have the actual game. So I've you can't something. call that as part of it yet. Right now, the only thing that's available to the public, Marvel United is the best version. Marvel United is not as available to the public as Marvel Champions is. Most of it is Kickstarter locked. How much does Marvel United cost? Like $15. How much does Marvel Champions cost? Like $15 per pack. Right. So how much game do you get out of Marvel United versus Marvel Champions with a $15 pack? Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell him he's wrong. Tell, Tell him he's me wrong. I'm wrong. How many? You get three different bosses to fight with the very first pack. And for $35, you get Spider-Man um, with the Green Goblin. That's a whole separate concept. It plays completely differently. Yeah. Plus, you get Doctor Strange. All of that for $35. You can't tell me that that isn't more than you would get for $35 with the Marvel Champions. Final opinion on the clock. Final opinion on the clock for what? I'll give you Marvel United. Final opinion on the clock. Go for it. Board games are too cheap. Ooh. They're too cheap. We have too many companies not actually making a profit, not being able to pay their staff. We undervalue creative, creative resources so much in our economy. The artwork, the design, the time it takes to create something unique that stands out, the investment that it takes from the publisher on the forefront just to get a game into your hands. So, on top of that, the market chips away at it from the crowdfunding platform to the yeah. back of kit to the shipping to the yeah. retail. Board games are too cheap. I and mean, I understand we don't want to pay more for them, but we should be. I, I, I think direct to retail board games are too cheap. I think I agree with you on that. Because, okay. But I think the Kickstarter versions, um, most of them are give you so much bang for your buck. But I do think that the that the publishers undervalue the content they're giving you. I think because of people like the larger companies, I think able a to combination give of Gloomhaven and Amazon has crushed our industry and the market that we should have. In what Amazon way? trained people that shipping should be free, mm -hmm. and Gloomhaven sold at a loss. For like the first giant wave of their of their thing, mm -hmm. because they put so much content into the box mm -hmm. that you sh it, it is completely unfeasible. And Gloomhaven was a one off thing, so mm -hmm. everyone now tries to compete with that standard. Yeah. And not everything is Gloomhaven. Agreed. And so it set a standard that is unattainable for anyone but the one percent. I I agree with that. I agree with that. I think that there's a lot of board games out there that are that are. Under that are hmm, undervalued for what they offer and should probably charge more. I think shipping is screwing everything up, but I agree with you. I think board games should probably be more expensive, especially the retail version of board games. Because there's just here. not enough money there. 